Are you a procrastinator? If you are, you're going to love this little presentation because I'm going to run through a couple of easy ways to recognize why you're procrastinating. And then at the end, I'm going to give you a little hack that I use that uh, always gets me out of procrastination. Now, listen, I have been the biggest procrastinator on the planet um, during my life. There are many times where I've been delaying things, putting things off. And, you know, the thing is, we don't know, is it fear based? Is it stress based? Do you do it because you're fearful of a result? And that could be a good result or a bad result. It could be a, a rejection. Most people are carrying a fear of rejection. So if you're in sales, for example, and you're putting off making that phone call, I know a lot of people are absolutely scared to death of cold calling or making a phone call based on they just don't know what the outcome is going to be at the end of it. A couple of things we can do. We can actually visualize um, and imagine what the outcome would be. That would be one way of dealing with it. Um, or we could just move our attention and uh, go somewhere else. Anyway, I created this little presentation, um, which hopefully will be able to help. Uh, you need to press the right button. Switch it around. That's it. Yeah, I've created this little presentation. Uh, probably only take about five minutes just to go through. Uh, and let's try and just eradicate uh, the things that you're making you procrastinate. Because as we all know, once we've actually taken the action that we've been procrastinating on, we feel a whole lot better. So from procrastinator to go-getter, unleashing your inner drive. And uh, this is it. I'm using, of course, I'm using my favorite third-party live streaming software. This is B.Live. If you want to live stream uh, and you want to use some third-party software, drop me a line. Uh, this is my favorite. And I can get you a free trial and maybe even a cheeky discount. So what is procrastination? Um, yeah, it's a, a delaying a task uh, for fear of negative consequences. Well, not just negative. As I said, it's a fear of any consequence, whatever the consequence is. We might be delaying, for example, washing up, doing the dishes, um, because we're having a nice time, just at a beautiful dinner, uh, but we don't want to then spend time washing the dishes, cleaning down the cooker, so we delay. And what many people will do is they will not just delay, they will then start to have or use behaviors um, that will just extend the procrastination. So what do I mean? So common reasons for procrastination. As we said, there's a fear of failure or success, uh, a lack of motivation or interest, poor time management, unrealistic goal settings in the workplace. That could be very true. Um, and of course, we click into avoidance behaviors. And this is where we become incredibly busy doing things that aren't actually that productive. We're pretty much doing anything other than the one thing that we know we need to do. So we'll go off and do all sorts of things. So if, for example, you didn't want to make these phone calls, then perhaps you could um, go and avoidance behavior would be to say, okay, I'm just going to Oh, let's, say, uh, uh, let's do lead generation as an example. You're a network marketer. You want to get people into your network, but you don't want to call them. OK, and so what you'll do, maybe you'll do all the behaviors which will put more leads into your into your system. So you'll find more people, but you just won't pull that trigger because um, you don't know whether they're going to be yes, no or maybe. And that's because you've got an attachment to the outcome. And it could be that, you know, you don't like rejection, which is fine. But equally, you've got that fear of success as well, because what happens if someone says yes? Someone says yes, then you've suddenly got to assume this leadership role because you've got someone joining you. Really, so it's just not it's not failure. It's just can be failure or success, can be fearing the result. So don't worry, we can get around that without a problem. So What's next? Uh, negative effects of procrastination, of course. Um, increased stress levels. I think stress, uh, and particularly financial stress, are probably going to be the biggest killer uh, in the world, if not uh, already, uh, but it certainly will be. It can also lead to missed deadlines and lower quality work because you're just putting everything off. And to delay leads to guilt and shame. And we have all 
been guilty of that. I think we all felt some sort of guilt. We know we should do something. We put it off. We put it off because we don't want it. And then we feel guilty. It's like, oh my God, why am I putting it? Why? And it just a spiral uh, keeps you running around. But don't worry. Um, there's ways to overcome it. So this little slide, easy ones, uh, break the task into small ones. So a lot of times it might be a big task. It's just overwhelming and you just don't know where to start. So break things down uh, into small ones. Uh, create your own little deadlines. Say to yourself, right, I'm going to make two phone calls in the next 10 minutes or whatever works for you. It might be I'm going to make three phone calls in the next hour. Um, then you can spend 45 minutes worrying about it <laughs> and then making the phone calls uh, at the very last minute. Um, but yeah, eliminate distractions. There's a caveat to that one and reward yourself um, for your progress because you do need to reward yourself when you've overcome your procrastination. Uh, you do want to give yourself a reward. Now, the eliminate distractions, hopefully it's on the next slide, I think. Yes, here's the caveat. You want to eliminate distractions, but, and this is the hack, move your attention. So whether it's your inner dialogue, um, whether it's visualizing success outcomes or how you feel when the task is done. So what we can do is we think, and this is from my great mentor, Jim Thornton, we are the thinker of our thoughts. No one else thinks our thoughts, only us. So we can move our attention at any given moment uh, to something else. So we can move it to, if you're doing for like doing the dishes, I don't want to do the dishes, move my attention to anything. Just think of something else. Think of what I'm going to do the next day. Think of a great holiday and just move and then pick up the cloth start the tap just start doing it because once you've started doing something then the probability is you're gonna just go and do the dishes clean the kitchen clean down the cooker uh, and just get the job done and then you'll be happy same with the phone call just imagine move your attention imagine what it's like after you've made that call with the outcome that you want just visualize that your brain doesn't know what's real or what's imagined so just imagine the outcome that you want, visualize that. And while you're visualizing that, just dial the number and pick up the phone. So that's the, the hack. You control your thoughts. Um, and the benefits, gosh, that's a terrible slide. <laughs> what a terrible slide that is. Um, yeah, let's skip that one. <laughs> Some of these slides did not come through the way I wanted them to. Um, so yeah, so you control your thoughts. When you understand the reason for your procrastination, when you can recognize, in fact, I'm going to turn that off. When you can actually understand why you're procrastinating, you, you can recognize your avoidance behaviors, um, and then you can do something about it. So I just do an inner dialogue and just say, Nick, no. Well, use your own name, obviously. Here's an example. Uh, and I've, the last few weeks in my head, I've been wanting to get uh, fitter and healthier again. I know that what I did the first time I lost all the weight, I know what I did was I'd get up at six o'clock, go for a half an hour, 45 minute walk. I've not done that. I'm procrastinating. Um, and what are my avoidance behaviors? My avoidance behaviors have been, oh no, well, I get up at six, but then I'm listening to some meditation. I'm thinking I'm having a cup of tea, just visualizing how my day is going to pan out. It's, I know, complete BS. That is classic, and I'm owning it. That is classic avoidance behavior. So here's the rub. Starting tomorrow, I will be getting up at six, and I will tell myself, if I go into that behavior, I can recognize it, move my attention, say, Nick, no, walk, and move my attention, put my trainers on, go for a walk. In fact, even better, I'm going to lay out my kit so that I'm just ready to go uh, straight away. So this is procrastination. Move your attention, recognize the behaviors, and just do it. You will feel so much better. And again, visualize and internally feel what it would be like to have actually accomplished the thing you're procrastinating about even starting. Okay, so that's it. Procrastination. If there's another topic um, you'd like me to unpack, then uh, do let me know and we'll unpack them as all part of a great new training.